welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure all right look you got some people waiting on you to fall off okay let me tell you you've been doing your thing you're always doing your thing you've been doing your thing since thing been since that thing been thinking okay <laughs> Like, you got some people waiting on you to fall off. You got some people that's jealous. You got some people that's envious. You got some people who may not be jealous or envious, but they don't want you to have what you have. It's not that they want what you got. They don't want you to have what you got. They see the hard work. They see what it is that you're doing. It's not that they want to do that too, because they know that it's go it takes a special type of person to get done what you have gotten done this is why you have some people uh waiting on you to fall off they don't want to see you prevail every time they see you doing good they're waiting on that moment where you fall off they're waiting on that moment where you get knocked down like they waiting on that moment where things reverse itself they waiting on that moment because they want to say like i told you so they talking about you to other people and they're saying that it's not going to last long. It's only a small season for them. Like, yeah, things is looking peaches and cream now, but wait until. Like, these are the type of conversations that they're having with others and themselves. They don't want to see you win. When they see you win it, it bruises their ego. <laughs> it shows them what they're capable of doing that they don't want to do. It shows them what they're not doing. It shows them like they're when when they see you winning, they're comparing themselves to you. They see you doing all these things. They see you moving how you moving. They're comparing themselves to you and they recognize that they're not you. This is why you got some people waiting to see you fail. This is why these very people, if you notice the type of conversations that you have, they're asking you questions as if it has already happened. They're trying to see where you're at with things. Are you still doing this? Or they may even push something on you. So this is what life looks like now for you? Or this is what you got? Go like, no. And you like, nah. And you hit them with that boom, what it really is. And they like, mm. Well, I don't know about that. Or, mm. I thought such such like no why are you thinking stuff you got some people assuming assuming what's going on in your life you got some people trying to manifest things in your life when they can be putting that same focus into manifesting better things into their life they're manif they're trying to anyways manifest more worse things in your life but they don't even understand like how the law of attraction works and they don't even understand like highly favor how highly favored that you really are. Like everything that they they're wishing on you is bouncing right back to them. This is why their life is the way it is. I'm not gonna say it's good or bad, but there you got some people uh, wishing on your downfall, and this is why certain things happen to them because it's what they're focused on. They're focused on you being worse off, and it ended up. It ended up uh it end up going to them like that energy get returned back to the sender like they don't understand how blessed and highly favored that you really are how connected to the source that you really are you got some people waiting on you to fall off they like you've been up for a little while now the funny thing is even when you ain't up people see you as up even when you ain't rich, even, even when you don't have a lot of money, people see it. They see it as that looking from the outside in because they don't know how to, like, first off, they don't even have that relationship with you to come to you one-on-one -on -one and ask you real questions. So all they can do is assume and ask those close to you. You got some people waiting on you to fall off, not recognizing that your ills aren't losses, like they're lessons. And more importantly, like they're just experiences is what you may have needed to experience in that moment. 
and another thing they see how everyone else's uh life is operating so when people are down they're usually telling any and everybody who's going to listen like they see you whether you're up or down they don't know because you're rich regardless like you're rich with your mindset so it's like no matter how many times you get knocked back down no matter how many times it may get taken from you or you may blow it you know how to get it back like you have skills to pay the bills like you're moving in abundance like you attract abundance like you're manifesting the life of the life of your um the life that you desire so they can't understand that they're waiting on you to fall off and they don't realize that you would never fall off <laughs> you'll never fall off again like because you know too much like your mind is too bright your 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 mindset is um is is is, is stopped tier. you got some people waiting to have any little thing on you like you can't have something different like you can't do something different like you can't switch up <laughs> like you can't want better or that you just can't change things like that things are supposed to always look the same for your life not recognizing like you're always growing you're always developing you're always doing something different like you're always figuring out what works maybe something worked for, worked for you at some point in the time and it don't work for you anymore so they're waiting to see something change in your life just so they can say aha they're not perfect. Aha, I told you so. But it's like, no, it's not like that. Like, like you got some people who's treating you, they look at you like you're not human as well, that you're not supposed to experience the human experience as well, just like the next person. Like, that you just always got to be, um, like, like things are perfect in your life because this is the way that they see you. And they think that you feel the same way as well. Like, you got some people that's looking at you like you have things all figured out. Not knowing that you're figuring things out too. You're always figuring stuff out because things are always evolving. What they don't recognize is that you're constantly evolving as a human being. You got some people waiting on you to fall off because they look at you as a god. <laughs> they look at you as a goddess. They, they're looking at you and they're looking at your life like it's perfect. Like something has to mess up. Like they have to, like we're going to get them angry. Like we're going to um, see them fall. We're going to see them get everything taken away from them. Like they're going to stop doing what it is that they're doing, moving in the ways in which they're moving. They're waiting on you to fall off because they see you as perfect. You got some people out here that sees you as perfect. And for that reason, they think that you think that you're better than everyone. <laughs> like they're looking at you and they see what you got going on. They're hearing the type of conversations that you have. They see the type of things that you like to entertain. And it's nothing close to who they are as a person. So they're comparing themselves to you. And they see you as better than them, for real, for real. Like they see you as better than them. So they're waiting on you to fall off because they see everybody else around them. They like, okay, people fall off. Okay, people do this. Like people move back in, like people do whatever it is. They're waiting on you to fall off. They've had enough. <laughs> like they've had enough of your success. They're wondering, when are you gonna fall off? When are you going to come down to their level? Because they're trying to reach you. But you're moving too fast. You're moving way too fast for them. So they don't know like what to do at this point. Only way that they can touch you is if you fall off. It's if you fall down to where they're at. They're trying to grab. You're climbing up the ladder. They're well behind you. They're trying to grab your leg. They can't touch it. They can't even touch it. They're not even close. So they need you to fall off. They need you to at least trip. They need you to fall down a couple of steps. Like you're way too, like you're too much. And it may not even be like on some physical stuff. Like your mindset is brilliant. Like your mindset has gotten you to where you are today. Like your mindset has gotten you through your most toughest moments in life. You got some people waiting on you to fall off. 
and it just ain't happening quick enough for them or it just ain't happening you got some people waiting on you to fall off because they see you up they see the moves that you're making and these very people are trying to make excuses as to why you have what you have and how you're doing what you're doing because for one they can't figure it out but for two they may know just a little bit they may know a little bit and they're saying oh they wouldn't be able to do it if they didn't have this or if they didn't do this it don't matter what you did or how you did it or how you got it you got it and you worked for it and you earned it and you deserved it and you put you put in that work like you put in that work nobody couldn't sign that dotted line for you nobody couldn't uh make you swim like nobody couldn't do the work for you you've worked for everything that you got you've earned everything that you got you've attracted everything that you got you got some people waiting on you to fall off not knowing that you can't fall off really i mean you can trip you can fall but you're not gonna fall off you can trip you can fall but you've got so much information in your brain like you're just so your mindset is so abundant you're going to get back up like you may go through it you're going to go through it but you're going to grow through it every single time every single time like you're at the point where you're not letting nothing hold you back you're not le letting anything hold you down like what's the point you recognize that it don't feel good there yeah, it may be a little hard to um, to get through the things that you're getting through. But you know, you understand that things are just temporary. You got some people waiting on you to fall off and it just ain't happening. They, if they would have put, they, they, they would have put their money on you falling off. They would have put their money on and they would have lost. You got some people who put some money on you. They put a bet on it. That you was going to fall off. And you still ain't fell off. So now they're saying. Oh it's just a matter of time. Before they fall off. You got some people secretly. Wishing on your downfall. Some of these people are jealous. Some of these people are envious. Some of these people. Don't want you to have what you have. Just for the sake of it. Just because it's you. Just because you're always doing something great. Just because you're always figuring things out. Just because you're always doing something different. You got some people who don't like the fact that you are different. That you are not average. So if this video resonate, <laughs> if this video hit different, let me know how so in the comment section below. If you're new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. I have something very, if you made it to this part of the video, I have something very special coming up. I'm going to announce this soon, y'all. Uh, stay spiritually you, stay spiritually into, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.